Remember when the mainstream media was all about speaking truth to power and asking questions? Mm. Well, rest in peace, you shameless creeps. With Benghazi, the media hacks across the liberal to pinko spectrum have come together like a Walter Duranty version of the Wonder Twins, morphing into the all powerful Obama scandal condom, protecting Chairman Charm from the horrors that would mar most presidencies. Here's Rachel calling people stupid for their rage over the death of four Americans. It's magic. If you say Benghazi enough, if you teach enough people who only type with a cap locks key on Twitter to spell Benghazi, that H is really hard, then eventually President Obama will be impeached or he will resign. See, people are dead, but the people who care, they can't spell. Isn't that hilarious? And you have Jon Stewart blaming FNC for his own lack of interest in Benghazi with an H. You can't understand why everyone else isn't as outraged as you when it's because the rest of us aren't sure if what you're saying is true. And to be quite frank, you do have somewhat of a history of hysteria. So wait, if FNC wasn't raising alarms, Jon Stewart would have covered it? I don't know. If you're the clown prince of progressive pander, I think you're pretty stoked if FNC gives you the out. And then there's Colbert, finding the funny in the flames. Since last September, Fox News has been pursuing this story doggedly to uncover how the administration blew it, when they blew it, why they blew it, and how they will continue to have blown it. And most importantly, how is this car still burning? I mean, it's been eight months. See, it's funny because the car's on fire for like a really long time. People died, but what difference does it make? That's not, not just Hillary's line, but all of them. Note to Massengill, we found your new spokesperson. Wow. Actually, it's, a, it, it's an entire group. And they're like those face-painting freaks at Raiders games. They're so insanely passionate for their side. They're positively ghoulish. And it really is about teams. Stewart and company chose sides long ago, and they love playing unopposed. And they do have reason to cheer. The story will probably die like the four in Benghazi with the lapdog media standing down, making these so-called journalists co-conspirators in the Benghazi cover-up. And that's comedy when you're winning. So, Angie, the way I look at it is uh, they refuse to actually cover the story. Instead, they want to cover people who care about the story because then that kind of absolves them from having to deal with it, the ugliness. Yeah, they don't want to touch this story. Yeah. But they did jump in to cover this story mm -hmm. when Mitt Romney gave a response right. yeah. to the Benghazi story. Now, they didn't want to cover the four dead Americans, Greg. They wanted to cover the appropriateness, yeah. and the tone, and the timing of his remarks. Now we know... Mitt Romney was vindicated with those hearings yesterday. And remember, President Obama responded to Mitt Romney's response saying, yeah, you know, he just uh, shoots first and aims later. He hit the bullseye. Yeah. And then President Obama said, you have to back up what you say with facts. How dare he say that? Everything that they have said up until this point about the video and beyond and security has not been backed up with any facts. Yeah, that's it's, true. It's insane. And the media just... Snores. <laughs> uh, Bob's steaming, but I want to go to Dana. Yeah. I realize the only way that you can put uh, 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 Colbert and John Stewart out of business is if FNC just becomes completely liberal. Yeah, without us, it wouldn't be millionaires. <laughs> exactly. I mean, gosh. I'm, just, I'm, I'm waiting for the dinner invitation because somebody ought to buy me a steak. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to finish no, it. No, it is pretty incredible. I, I, I like to believe, because I'm a nice person, yes, that deep down inside, everybody gets the joke. Mm -hmm. Everyone looks at the same evidence and goes, golly. Yeah. Now they're to the point where they have to all cover up their cover-up mm -hmm. so that they don't look bad. Yeah. And maybe they do start to believe it inside. I, I don't know. Or you, think, you think I'm too it's, nice? No, no, it's so, so shameless. I watched that schmuck this morning at Morning Joe decided to jump on the bandwagon today. Mm -hmm. Today, eight months later, he decides Benghazi's a problem. Be that specific. A Which schmuck? Uh, Joe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> at Joe NBC. <laughs> that schmuck. You have a telestrator. I do. Can I do it? Yes, please. Four branches of government. You thought there were three. You thought there was the executive branch, a legislative branch, and a judicial branch. And four, uh, what we didn't realize is that there is a fourth branch. It's the media branch who covers for all of these branches because they're in love. <laughs>
That's beautiful. Did you notice that you, the way you it's, did it's the E nice. and the D? I, you know, I, I, I missed the middle thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had to go back. You know, so, Bob. Yes, yes. So, 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 Bob. Aren't, isn't it, this basically just an attempt to say there is no story here and it's only a story because right wing bigots make it a story? Well, first of all, let me, uh, let's go back here to us for a second. Well, let me get to that at the end of this uh, session. But, Answer whatever you want. Okay, thank you. I usually do. <laughs> you know, during the. Uh, Bush administration, there were 54 diplomatic admission, uh, 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 missions attacked and nine Americans died, and they had one hearing. There's been nine hearings I've been got. Did anybody lie about a cover? Like, did anybody I, lie I, and blame I the video I'm say, I'm saying and have them put in jail and still in jail? Wait, wait a second. There's, there's Are you one, kidding me? There was one hearing, and there's been nine on this. And I, I don't know how many more they're going to have. <laughs> But well, was there an accusation that President Bush didn't answer the 3 a.m. phone call and didn't? There is a reason there's a hearing because the White House absolutely changed the facts of intel, accused an innocent American of causing the deaths of four Americans, had a 10 person SWAT team swoop down and put him in jail, and then tried to cover this up in the media. That didn't happen when 54 missions were attacked in the Bush administration. Well, uh, all I'm, all what I'm saying. A, what kind of comparison is that? Well, the, the, the outrage that a lot of these Republicans are showing was not shown then. But because there wasn't a cover up, because nobody didn't, okay. didn't fail well, in their job. Well, didn't, can I, can I, I'm I, just, can but I what about Abu pointer. Ghraib? Do you remember Abu Ghraib? Do you remember the outrage over Abu Ghraib? Yes. They wanted Donald Rumsfeld's head. This goes to the top over naked pyramids. Mm -hmm. Remember that? The media covered it like crazy people. Nobody died. In a naked pyramid? That's it was all a you horrible heard, story. It deserved to be covered. And the, the Bush administration deserved to take, take it on the chin like they did. These guys, on the other hand, sweep it under the rug, throw somebody in jail, and pretend like they, their you know what doesn't stink. That really you know, pisses you know, the, me the off. The one place that we're, we're in total agreement here is I think the biggest outrage of all this, because I think we're going to find out there was terrible mismanagement all the way around, but the fact that this guy, Nakula, is still in jail. Mm -hmm. on, a, uh, on a misdemeanor, as far as I can tell, and he's not going to get out until June, is an outrage. I mean, how in the world they can live with themselves arresting this guy like he's a SWAT leader? You said last night it's going to ruin his life. Oh, his yeah, life. he's going to have to go into witness protection. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. And, and I, I mean, who? this is a Coptic Christian who was trying to make a point, and they blew this thing up and made it a big story, pulled him out of his house in the middle of the night, had him cover his head up. I mean, somebody at the Justice Department ought to pay for that. And, you, and you ought to be ashamed of yourselves for doing it. <laughs> you know what? Their you-know-what does stink, Dana. <laughs> and I'm glad you, you... Well, I don't have any money to put in the swear jar. <laughs> yes, that's okay. One day, you-know-what. All right.